The Bible is an idol. Now, I want to show you the foolish thing I've ever seen. I've been to some funerals. And every funeral I've been to in the last few years, they put the Bible on people's chest. Yeah, or in the casket beside them. <laughs> yeah. And they, they put their Bible on their chest. And that's an insult to Jesus Christ. What raised Jesus from the dead? The Holy Spirit. Can the Bible raise you from the dead? No. So you see, this is an insult. This is the most insulting thing. You're putting the mark of the beast on your chest, going into the grave. And yeah, on your body. Anyway, <laughs> on your body's not going to go to heaven. How dumb can Bible worshipers be? I mean, how dumb are you to put a dead letter book on your chest? Did Jesus die so you could have a dead letter book? He died so you could have the Holy Ghost. Now here's death with the Bible. Do you know that if you got the Bible, you got death? Death with the Bible. What, what's the Bible say? The letter kills, but the Spirit gives life. And they take the dead letter. Yeah, because they're dead. They're dead. Now, I want to show you what you're doing. Let me explain to you what you're doing. When you put a Bible on your chest at death, here's what you're doing. Constantine was a brutal sociopath who had the first 50 Bibles compiled. Now, he murdered his son. He murdered his wife. He's a sun god worshiper. He sold his uh, sister to a, a pagan rival. He did all kinds of things. And that's why you worship on Sunday, because he... he Made the sun gods. He's the one who put out the Bible to control everybody with, and you're being buried with it. He's the one that gave Jesus the name Jesus from yes. God Zeus instead right. of Yeshua. Yeshua is his name. So this came from Constantine. Do you want to be buried with Constantine? He's the one that got the Bible. See if you if you'll read even in your Bible, it tells you the anointing will teach you all things. That's right. You don't need no Bible. The Holy Ghost can take you back and show you Jesus dying on the cross. He did me. Jesus, through the Holy Ghost, can show you all things. He showed John, the revelator, the end of time. He showed him the Father on the throne, angels and everything. He showed him by the Spirit. You don't need no Bible. The devils know the history. They can quote it frontwards and backwards. But that doesn't regenerate them. The devil uses the Bible. Jesus uses the Holy Ghost. King James, also known as Queen James, authorized the Bible. Now this is the man that authorized your Bible. Do you know that they put out a, a, a Bible, the LGBT community did, and it's called the Queen James Bible. Mm -hmm. And that's the truth. The, that's the only Bible on earth that told the truth. King James was Queen James. Watch my video, Holy Perdition. All of it's right there. It's the truth. King James was Queen James. Do you know what Bible worshippers say? They say, oh, it don't matter. You know, <laughs> they'll do anything to protect the Bible. I can ask them, when did the New Testament begin? They can't answer. Because they'll do anything to protect their Bible. Because they have faith in the Bible and not faith in the living God. They I don't tell have them, faith in the living Jesus Christ. They've never met him. I can tell them, stir up the gift of God in you. Neglect not the gift of God in you. They won't even pay no attention to that. Because they do everything in the world to protect their Bible. Their mind goes blank. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John are old covenant. Now that makes the Bible a liar. Because you see, until the death of the testator. See, a testament in the Bible times was talking about a test of your faith. Like God tried Abraham to see if he loved him. He tried Jephthah. He tried all people that come to him. And he tries you. So Jesus was tried when he was in the Garden of Gethsemane. He said, Father, is there not another way? No, you have to die. You've got to overcome the flesh with the spirit so when jesus was in matthew mark luke and john he was not the king he never told him he was a king he said you'll see me coming in power and great glory but he never claimed to be the king so matthew mark luke and john is under the law the tithing the circumcisions and all but after he came out of the grave he said all power is given unto me so you must understand these things the Spirit raised Jesus from the dead. The Spirit, the Holy Spirit of God. And the same Spirit that raised Him from the dead. Shall raise us up. And shall quicken us, us, make us alive. See, the Bible don't make you alive. Mm -hmm. You know, people think because they have the Bible, they have the Word of God. They say, the Word of God said. Well, that's not the Word of God. They claim those scriptures all the time, and but they have to go to the world. They continue to sin. They continue to do evil. So those words have no power in them. In the beginning was the Word. Yeah, they think it 
The Bible was in the beginning. In the beginning was the Spirit. And the Spirit was with God, and the Spirit was God. That's right. All right. To be buried with the Bible is an insult to Jesus Christ. That's right, because he died so you could have the Holy Ghost and be reconciled back to God. He didn't die so you could have a 2,000-year-old history book. Yeah, you can read the history book about him all you want, and that's okay. But if you have faith in it, then you're lost. Now, this is good here. Think about this. To die with the Bible placed on your chest means that you do not have the Holy Spirit. They say, Hillbilly, you're just doing this to make Bible worshipers mad. I don't care if they get mad or angry or what they get, but they got to get right with God, and you can't do it with the book. You walk down an aisle in a church and accept Jesus Christ, He don't accept you. The only way you know you're accepted by Jesus Christ is He draws you by His Spirit and He fills you with His Spirit. A Bible don't make you a Christian. Anointing makes you a Christian. And I'm going to tell this until God calls me home and you're going to know it because it's the truth. The Bible's an idol. The Bible's the mark of the beast. And I go to these funerals and they put this Bible on their chest. That really irks me. That's the craziest thing I've ever seen. They're taking a dead letter with a dead person, a dead Baptist or a dead Catholic or a dead Pentecostal, and the whole thing is a mess. The whole thing's a dead. And if you see me in there and I took the Bible off the chest, they'd probably shoot me because they think that's the Word of God. That's not the Word of God. The Word of God is what I'm telling you. The Bible is an idol, and the Bible is the mark of the beast. I started out for Jesus Christ to run Full of joy and love for the good life Heartaches, pain and Satan kept on coming To preach these words of life there is a prize Don't give up, don't give up, keep on trying Don't give up